Today's question comes from Daniel and he's saying, do you think it's possible to search up a translating software on Google and then copy paste English words and translate them into whatever language your store is in? Welcome to the Till Boadella Show, where I show you how to create the freedom and lifestyle you truly desire. Tune in every day and get real life strategies to grow your own business, hack your life and get more done in less time. Subscribe to the show and add Till Boadella on Snapchat. I think that's a horrible idea. So no matter if you want to translate your store or your ads, never use Google Translate because these generic automated translation tools are very inaccurate. And I mean, if you've ever used these tools, then you know it's basically gibberish. I mean, it's kind of a translation, but it makes no sense and it has lots of mistakes. And the last thing you want is your customers to see that. Imagine having a Facebook ad and it makes completely no sense. It's gibberish. It has lots of grammar mistakes, spelling mistakes. And imagine how people will feel when they see your ad. I mean, they can't trust you. It's impossible to trust an ad like that. And the same is true for your store. So never use an auto translate software to translate your ad or your store if you want to target a different country that isn't your native language. Now here's what I would recommend doing. First of all, if you speak a language that is different than English, if you have a second language or something like that, then use that to your advantage to build a store in that country. For example, if you speak English, but also some Spanish, then why not build a store in Spain, for example? Now, if you only speak English and don't speak any other language, then why not partner up with someone who does speak the language? For example, my girlfriend speaks Spanish. I don't speak Spanish. The only reason and the only way I was able to build a store in Spain is because my girlfriend translated everything for me. So try and look in your network, you know, in your social circle, if you can find someone, a family member or a friend, or can even be someone online that you meet, right? Someone else who's dropshipping, partner up and build a store and have them translate the store and the ad and everything for you and then make a deal where you partner up. That's the first option. The second option is to go to upwork.com and just hire someone to translate whatever you need to be translating. So you can just create a job posting on Upwork and then people will apply and they will translate whatever you give them to translate. That can be your ad creative, that can be your Shopify store, whatever. You can get pretty much anything translated on Upwork. And finally, remember that Shopify also has a language setting, meaning you can change the language of your theme. For example, into German, Spanish, French, Italian, Dutch, and you can use that to translate your store. But also keep in mind that those translations aren't perfect. I found that when I use the built-in Shopify language settings and I, for example, change the language to German, there's lots of mistakes. So even if you do that, it's worth getting someone on board who can manually translate your store or at least improve the default translation to make it sound more natural and more smooth. So Daniel, that's how to go about translating. Don't use Google's auto translate feature. It's going to suck and you're not going to get any sales. 